Here I'm going to show you how to choose pull down resistors for switches. Here we have a debugger board with several banks. This is set in display mode because it's displaying what comes in on each of these pins. So if I, for instance, ground this pin here, you notice this LED goes off, indicating that this is a low. That's what I've shown. You'll notice that with this unconnected, it's high, which means the inputs are floating high. So if I'm going to figure out what sort of pull-down resistor I would need with a switch, then I need a resistance that will pull this down to ground. So for instance, here I have over here, this is a 100 ohm resistor. One end of the 100 ohm resistor is tied to this bus, which you'll see over here because the black lead is tied to ground. So if I put that there, you will see that indeed that makes it go down. So 100 ohm is definitely okay. But we can try higher resistors. What about 240 ohms? Yep, that still does it. We have 510 ohms. Here we have one kilo ohm. And here we have 10K. Now you notice the 10 kilo ohm resistor is too high. We're not drawing enough current, so it's sitting high. On the other hand, the one kilo ohm resistor is fine. So you see the one kilo ohm resistor consistently makes it go off. So one kilo ohm works. Now the difference between the resistors for LEDs and the resi resistors for switches is that with LEDs you want enough current to make the LED bright. In the case of the resistors for the for switches, low resistors will work very well, but they'll draw extra current from the power supply unnecessarily. So a high resistor that still works is what we want. So around one kilo ohm is probably good. And again, you can always check it this way if you're trying to see if the value you have will work.